Chris Broussard, which 0-2 team do you have the most faith in? Well, look, I'm not off the Colts. I picked them to make the playoffs, but we just talked about them, so I'll go elsewhere. Minnesota, the Minnesota Vikings. I, it, look, they started their first two games on the road, and they could easily be 2-0. and They should definitely be 1-1 at least, all right? So they lose to Cincinnati in over in, in overtime, and Dubai then Ram you just see it. Four deserves. seconds to play. Their kicker, who had already missed an extra point early in the game that had him down a point, Back here he misses a 37-yard gimme field goal. First, so find out I think the Vikings are actually much better than their 0-2 record suggests. For Aaron Mike Zimmer, I think, the is MVP a solid coach, like even though MVP he is on the hot seat like the and MVP might find himself on my under-pressure list uh, going we'll into this later. week. Ooh. But I think they can bounce back because Kirk Cousins has played well. I, I'm not saying he's a star. But he's a very good quarter. He's an above-average quarterback. He's got five touchdowns, no picks. And Dalvin Cook remains one of the best running backs in the league, almost giving you 100 yards a game. I expect the Vikings to bounce back at some point. Schedule's tough coming up. Seattle, uh, and then they got Cleveland. But I think they'll, they'll come back this season and make a run for the playoffs. So, yeah, I think they, they needed to get at least a split in these first two, if not win their first two, because they're going to lose their next two, and then Mike Zimmer won't be on the hot seat because he won't have a seat. He's probably first coach fired if they start 0-4. Mm. It's it's just bad luck. And what the Vikings have been night the devil by the kicker Field position for, for my entire the MVP adult life, like dating back to Gary again, Anderson, like the, the MVP missed uh, again, chip even shot MVP in the playoff game against Seattle. They just have never like been able to get that position right. So I think I think they're in trouble. I am going to stick with the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, you we'll might start say, with the weird. Deb, you watched them through two weeks. I have. But when I picked the Falcons to go to the playoffs, I had them starting 0-2 anyway. Look, because everyone look makes fun of base. what's coming up. Oh, you get to play oh, the worst manager. team in football. Oh, For- and then you play Washington. Where- then you play maybe the next worst team in football. Then a nice bye week. Then the Dolphins, who, by the way, is Tua going to be healthy? Who knows? Look at the quarterback list they have. Jones, Heineke, Wilson, whomever the Dolphins are starting, Darnold, Jameis. That 0-2 is mark it down, write it in blood. The Falcons will be 5-3 at worst, at worst, going into the Cowboys game. The offense got going a bit in the second half against Tampa. That game against Philly was a disaster, but we're going to throw that one out. They're about to win three in a row. That's a guarantee. And then they're three and two and feeling better. I still think the Falcons are a sneaky, alive playoff team, Wilds. Okay. Well, lucky for me, this pen filled with blood. So I'm going to write it down. Write it in blood. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. My mom got me this blood pen. Came in handy. I was like, Mom, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, would anyone be surprised if the Seahawks made it to the Super Bowl? I wouldn't. Would you be surprised if the Rams made it to the Super Bowl? No, a lot of people haven't the Super Bowl. So I'm going to say the Colts because those were the Colts' first two opponents, and the defense hasn't looked great, but that might be because Russell Wilson is awesome and the Rams' offense is awesome, never mind their defense. So when you look at the Colts' defense, I think they are going to get back to where they were last year, hopefully get a little bit better. Now, the one problem is you got the Titans. Are the Titans going to – is is Jacob Easton or Carson Wentz going to be able to exploit – Pretty, a pretty bad Titans defense, or are we going to see sort of like an explosion of this Colts offense, uh, you know, back and in, in getting it, the job done? So, Jonathan Taylor, let's Where did start that working. Guy go to school? We'll see who's that quarterback for the Colts. I believe in the Colts. Probably Wisconsin. Let's flip to the undefeated through two weeks grouping. These seven teams are in the driver's seat, most expected to see the Bucs, maybe the Rams, but how about Vegas? How about Denver? How about Carolina all crashing that party? So, Broussard, which 2-0 team do we need to pump the brakes on? Jen, the Carolina Panthers, all right? Unlike Ooh. Wilds and, and many pundits out there, he's got some help. He's got some support with him. I'm not ready to crown Sam Darnold after just these two games. Okay, Um, I'm not ready to blame all of his turnovers. He was a turnover machine in New York. I'm not putting that all on the New York Jets. 
All right, people act like the Jets have never had any success at quarterback. It's just not true. A lot of that was on Sam Darnold. So I'm not ready to say this guy is going to be a pro bowler and lead Carolina to a great season into the playoffs. Look, they beat Cincinnati. I mean, no, no, they not Cincinnati. Who, who was their first opponent? They Their first victory was over. The uh, they beat the Jets. A hapless, the Jets. The Jets. The terrible yeah, Jets. The Jets. There yes. it is. The Jets, yeah. all right. So I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to yeah. fall in love with them because they beat the Jets. I get it. The Football Saints coaches. were horrible, and uh, in that what? game, and they look, you know, they had beat the Packers. So you give them love for that. But I'm not ready to jump on this Carolina line of bandwagon. The defense is legit so far, but again, you face the Jets yep. and bad Jameis. Jameis not gonna be that bad, bad. going forward. So I'm, MVP I'm off the panel. Oh, yeah, good well, one. Thank Dark you, Horse. Wild, saying it, so I didn't have to. <laughs> Dark Horse, Dark Horse. Um, listen, I'm not high on Darnold either, Broussard, but I have to be open to the possibility that that defense is excellent. They, I mean, they have 10 sacks through two weeks, best in the NFL. So I so I, I am not I, I'm not against you on the Panthers, but I am not as... I am not as sure as you are that this is an aberration. Maybe they just have a great defense that year and that can carry them. By the way, they do get the Texans and Davis Mills this week, so they're almost assuredly going to start 3-0. and But I want to pump the brakes on one of the most fun teams to watch with one of the best quarterbacks in football, and that's Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. Now, Kyler's Ooh, excellent, even though a couple times a, a, couple times a game mm. he's going to throw it to the other team, and they're also probably going to start 3-0 and because they have Jacksonville. But then they're going to lose a bunch of games, and Cliff Kingsbury's seat will get deservedly hot. Rams loss, Niners loss, Browns loss. In fact, I will go as far as to say this, to tie these takes together. After six weeks, the Falcons will have a better record than the Cardinals. Because the Cardinals are going to go from 3-0 and to 0-3. Then they have the Packers and the, and the Niners again. Uh, it, right after the, not, a good win, they'll get against the Texans. I do not think we should be impressed by Week 2 Wilds. That game was lost. They were The game was over. They are on the field for a 37-yard field goal to beat them. They had nothing to right. do with the fact that the Vikings kicker shanked it. So they already should have one loss. I think they've got a bunch more coming up. I think it's a brutal division. And as good as Kyler is, I think it's a poorly coached team. I think it's a team that's going to be more susceptible than most to injuries due to some of the age of their big offseason acquisitions. So I I love watching the Cardinals, and Kyler's a ton of fun. But I don't think, forget contender, I don't think they're a playoff. And what a wonderful... Okay, buckle up for this one. My answer is the 83 mile per hour Bucks. Here's why. I think the Bucks oh. are a good team. I, I think they're a solid team, Broussard. I'm not bailing out on Brady and Gronk and the whole squad. That being said, it's like when you're driving down the highway, you're like, ooh, you know what? Going a little too fast here. Got the cruise control on 83. Why don't you just bring it down to 78? Still very fast. Get you where you want to go. Probably unsafe, to be honest with you, everybody out there. Why don't you bring it down to 65, old speed limit like your buddy KW. But just take it down a little bit. We saw, we saw Patrick Mahomes not be able to do anything against that defense. Is that true about Dak Prescott? No. How about Matt Ryan? Did they shut Matt Ryan down? Not really. And this on the offense is cooking so hot, Broussard. We see they're scoring so fast and so often. I just don't think this pace continues. So that's why. Just to take it down, take it down one notch, just from 83 down to about wow. 77. Okay? It's fair. Mm. fair. Wow. So that's not really the armor. Wild says the well, are seven some doubts. That's just a, a little well, advice. Pump the brakes. Yeah. Pump the brakes. All right, well, no, speaking of those frogs. 83 you mile per hour bucks. You still believe. Let's talk some, talk some Brady and Gronk, the duo that just won't quit. Does Bill Belichick now regret watching the two of them walk out the door? We discuss next. First things first. Oh, I love this topic. I love it so much.